is Unexpected with Hannah Love. In this podcast, you will gain a new perspective of how God loves you enough to call you to things that you couldn't have imagined for yourself. In this season where shopping local and watching Christmas movies end up being at the top of our to-do list, how do we carve out space for just us and our kids to be still and thankful that we have Christmas because of Jesus? Help your family find meaning in the merriment this season with help from Talk About. Talk About is the newest Awana product designed to help you and your kids talk together about the Bible and faith and how it all connects in this topsy-turvy world we're living in. When you sign up for Talk About, you get weekly bundles of digital resources in your email with goodies like conversation guides to help you answer questions and explain scripture, midweek activity sheets, and even Spotify playlists to go along with the series. Love me a good playlist. Visit talkaboutdiscipleship.com and use code Hannah to try Talk About for free. You will get two free months of resources, including a beautiful Advent series that you can hit the ground running with today. And on the site, to go along with your faith talks, download their free Advent ideas and templates for some super fun activities. Just go to talkaboutdiscipleship.com. Welcome back. If you have been following along, you will know that we have been covering some of the areas of influence that we have in the world. This whole series is based on the natural giftings God has given us all. Not only our giftings, but also on the areas of influence that God has placed us in. My hope is that by using the concept of the seven mountains of influence, you will have a kind of tool for identifying your mountain or mountains of influence and be encouraged. Once you're able to identify your gifts, you'll be more confident about your place in the body of Christ, and you'll be able to be more intentional about using your gifts where you are. So I'll lead today by reading, as I have for each mountain of influence, the description given by generals.org about the mountain of the family. In any functional society, the family is the building block of the community. Throughout the Bible, you will find familial examples that portray how we ought to live our lives today. God desires that men, women, and children within the family be united as one in His love. After all, He is the ultimate Father. The families of the U.S. have been under constant and prolonged attack. Today, the assailants are fatherlessness, divorce, abuse, pornography, and other negative influences that have brought great dysfunction to American life. God is calling fathers and mothers both spiritual and biological, to bring order to the chaos that the enemy has unleashed against families in America. He also wants to bring healing to marriages and relationships within families in order to maintain a moral foundation for children in the future to stand upon. I love the reference here to the building blocks for any functional society. It is so true. Family is genuinely integral to every part of society. It is the place where values are instilled and character is developed. It is quite literally the birthplace of future generations. And it is the place where leaders are cultivated. Without the family, there really wouldn't be any other area of influence. Now, many of my episodes actually touch on the importance of foundations both laid by our parents and the ones that we are laying for our own children. So I thought I would pivot to touch on another aspect of family today. Because of all the giftings, family falls into a special category. I personally feel like family life is an external gift from God. While the other gifts we will cover have more to do with internal gifts that God has given each of us uniquely, the family as I see it, is more external because it isn't a gift from within our own abilities. Instead, it is a gift of multiplication beyond ourselves. Think about it. Family multiplies your joy, your capacity, and your ability to view God the way He views you as His child. It's like the granddaddy of all gifts. It is so deep and rich and impactful and purposeful not only in your own life, but in the lives of your children and ultimately in the world. 
And the truth is, the family unit is under more attack today than perhaps any other time in history. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick second to tell you about one of our sponsors, Abide. The end of the year can bring a lot of stress and anxiety, especially if you're shopping still for all of your loved ones and prepping to host holiday events. That is why I'm so excited to tell you about Abide Sleep and Pray Meditation app. It's the number one Christian meditation app that helps you be your best and deepen your experience with the peace of Christ through biblical meditation. And I can tell you, I use this every single week, especially at the end of my pregnancy. I'm always waking up in the night and I pop on my iPad app to fall back to sleep, listening to the words of Jesus. I love it so much. If you are interested today with Abide's premium subscription services, you would get early access to more content, ad-free meditation, and an experience you can cater to your needs with background music customization, a sleep timer, and even a journal to help your habits and health become routine. So download the Abide app today and find peace amidst the chaos. Right now, I have a special offer when you subscribe and you will get 25% off the first year when you sign up for your premium subscription, but only if you text my promo code UNEXPECTED to 22433. Don't wait. Download Abide Sleep and Pray Meditation today and text my promo code UNEXPECTED to 22433 today and get 25% off. And now back to our show. I wanted to address a specific lie that has been more and more prominent in this generation. The lie that choosing to have a family or getting married or having and raising children is somehow antiquated or less than. A few days ago, I wrote these words that were on my heart and I wanted to share them here. So here goes. To those who say marriage and children are a compromise to pursuing a career. A gentle reminder, there is no gift more precious than loving and stewarding the life of a child. There is no job more profound than that of a parent, mentor, or role model. There is nothing more life-changing than the selflessness that replaces selfishness, more stretching than the sleepless nights, the long days, and the hard-learned lessons. Yes, a career may bring some of these, But let me say this about parenting. You will cultivate more growth, stamina, and self-awareness than any job could create. You will develop greater problem-solving skills, multitasking abilities, and depth of understanding by loving a piece of yourself, a living, breathing piece of yourself than a profession could ever develop. There is no greater discipline than learning to lead well by living well loving well, and teaching by example. There is no greater fulfillment than pouring into a heart. These little hearts are the very ones who will become the next generation. They will speak truth into darkness, lead by serving, and bring light into the broken world. And lastly, there is no job that could replace the joy of watching a child live out the purposes that God has for them. These words are not for those whose hearts long for marriage and motherhood, but rather a reminder and an encouragement to those who have bought into the lie that family life is somehow the weak choice, that it is in some way a compromise or a downgrade from what they could achieve without husbands or children, because that, sweet friends, is a bold-faced lie. It is a narrative designed to steal the fullness of purpose that God designed us for. So don't believe what the world tells you about real success. Don't believe that being a boss in business is more empowering than being a leader in your own home. Today, I pray this reminder finds the hearts who need it. I think these words sum up well the truth that God has shown me through having a family. And I want to be clear here. Especially as a child who grew up in a home with two full-time working parents, I respect each and every working situation. My encouragement today has nothing to do with what position you do or don't hold outside of the home. 
Rather, it is for those who find themselves in a position of influence within family. Your influence on family is irreplaceable. It's invaluable. And frankly, it's as much a gift to you as it is a gift to the world to have that impact on generations to come, a lineage and a legacy. So today, my prayer is that you'll see family for what it is, a gift. Not only a gift, but the most direct place of impact and ministry that you could have in your life. There are many other gifts, and you'll have time to explore them throughout your life. But the gift of family is one worth prioritizing. I'm praying that God uses these words and this reminder to encourage you today in the place that you hold in the lives of children, whether that be your own or other children whose lives you are pouring into. Your place in their lives cannot be replaced or replicated. So love them well and allow God to grant fullness and joy as you walk out His design. Purpose is waiting. Thank you so much for listening today. If this episode has encouraged you, please feel free to share it with your family and friends. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world today, and my hope is that this show is a candle in the dark.